Hey guys, Rick Thrally Sport Direct here doing another episode of What's in the Box. Here we have the Aquamist HFS3 water injection system. Got the box right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so first, I'm just gonna pull out the components in this kit. Oh, excuse me. All right, so first thing I wanted to show you guys was the pump itself. You can see that here, it's a very large pump, very high volume. Uh, this pump will actually flow up to 1.3 gallons per minute. So again, very high volume. We've got our connector here. And you can see it actually does come with a connector clip on the end. So it just plugs right in. On the bottom, we've got our noise isolator. They're just uh, little rubber pads just to keep noise down. And then of course here, we've got our water in or alcohol, whatever you want to use with this kit, water in and water out. All right, so you can just kind of see an overview of this pump, giving you an idea how big it is and how much it flows. All right, now let's go ahead and show you the rest of the components in this kit here. All right, actually I wanted to show you guys right on top here, uh, we do have a warning. Basically, it just says that this kit is to be used only with water and alcohol. And that, of course, if you let the water freeze um, inside this kit, it will cause damage. Okay, so right on top, we've got instructions. Now, I'm going to go back to these here in just a second once we go over the rest of the kit. And this kit does have a lot of components in it, so we're just going to go over them one by one. So we've got our gauge here, and it actually comes with this rubber protector um, over the top of it. Go ahead and take this out. All right, so it's actually a very nice looking gauge, has an aluminum bezel around the edge, uh, 52 millimeter. This will display all of our data uh, when the unit is functioning and also when it's not functioning properly, which is um, equally important in my opinion. And then we've got the mount back here and then you can see the plug. Okay, and this blue indicates that it's also a blue LED uh, gauge, which I think is important to note. All right, let's go ahead and put that to the side. Um, I'm just going to start grabbing stuff out of this kit in no particular order. So, first thing I got here was, looks like the wiring for this particular kit. Alright, so Aquamist has done a good job of including everything you're going to need to install this. Um, and that'll be very apparent here in just a minute once I start taking all this stuff out. So, try not to unbundle this too bad. But, you've got your big connector there, looks like a relay is plugged into that. Our ground hook up here, connector, and of course we've got our fuse right there, you can see that. Again, I'm trying to be careful not to uh, unbundle this too much because it'll be kind of hard to put back together. Alright, so just uh, does include all the wires you're going to need to install this, plenty of length so you can pretty much install this anywhere in the car that you want, um, but generally speaking a lot of people put these in the trunk of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that one off to the side as well. And looks like this should be the control unit, I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and open this up. Just actually slide that out here. Alright, so we do have the control unit here. Now you can see where everything is going to plug into. And this will be our main computer or the brain um, to this kit. So everything plugs into here. And this is going to have all of our inputs and our outputs. Our power is going to be plugged into here. Um, everything is going to revolve around the central unit. So let's go ahead and put that one off to the side as well. Keep digging through this. So it looks like we've got a sensor here. Okay, and some of these are actually labeled pretty well. Like you can see this tag. Um, it shows you how it's installed inside the water tank itself. Um, so obviously we know this is a water level sensor or some people would call it a float. Basically you can see the action there. You know once the water starts to rise it's going to push the float up and this is going to detect how high uh, the water level is inside the tank. And I shouldn't say water, I should just say fluid level because again you could be using alcohol in here as well. All right. And then of course we've got our connector. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is actually uh, Aquamist uses very nice connectors and really nice wire on all these kits. So that is something worth mentioning. All right, let's go ahead and set this off to the side as well. Just keep on digging into this. Again, we've got a lot of components to go over, so kind of bear with me here. Got another sensor here. I do believe this is the flow sensor. This should 
um, clamp onto uh, one of the uh, outputs. And I'll show you that when we get to it. But kind of cool how it just kind of clamps on there. And then of course we've got our connector right there. Okay. Next we have some nylon tubing. Now this will be of course for fluid or I guess you could use it for fluid or air, either one. But again, they will give you more than enough to install this kit. So let's keep going here. And it looks like this is a, actually it looks like a plug to a relay. Yep, it is. Okay, so you can see that there. You can see where the relay is going to plug into this, and it actually has a screw, so you can uh, properly secure that down to the relay. And then, of course, we've got our connector on this side as well. All right, I'm guessing this is going to be our solenoid for the water output or fluid output. All right, yep, okay. And then that uh, flow sensor I showed you earlier, that actually attaches right here. So that's going to attach right there and that's going to detect the flow out of this unit. All right, you can see that there again. Alchemist uses very nice connections, all very nice fittings, just really high quality components in this kit here. All right. Then we just have some miscellaneous fittings. Looks like we've got a Y connector here. Let's see that. Some screws. And again, some more miscellaneous fittings there. And of course, our jets. Very important. Let's see if I can get that in focus there. There we go. The jets, okay. And again, more fittings. I just wanted to go over all of these. Um, they do include a lot of fittings, a lot of miscellaneous things in here. Um, but I do feel like it's important to go over it just so you can make sure uh, exactly what's included in this kit. And just to show you that they do include everything you are going to need to install this, which is really nice. All right, so keep on going. Looks like we've just got a, a plug actually to go in our uh, water tank, drill a hole in there, use that, and that should be for this filter here. And this is just so our pump does not pick up any debris, dirt, anything like that that's going to ruin it. You can see the uh, screen filter in there. And this is just going to be the water or fluid pickup for the pump. Again, another fitting. And some hardware for the kit as well. Right here. Again, let me see if I can get in focus. This camera is not liking this very much. All right, so you can see those uh, miscellaneous hardware there. Again, everything you're going to need to install this. And we have some more tubing here. Okay. Our plugs to run throughout the car, or wires for the plugs. Again, more of those. And again, they do provide you more than you're actually going to need for this. And then just the last components of the kit here. Grab that. Some more fittings. Very high quality fittings that they include in this kit. Our relay. Looks like it's a 40 amp. And then the, and this is going to be our you know, power ground, um, light switch, that kind of stuff. And this is going to plug into the control unit, of course. All right, so that's everything that's included in this kit. I know it's a lot of stuff. Um, took a while to go over, but then last thing I wanted to show you 
was the instructions. Now this is gonna, gonna tie everything together um, as far as how to install it. I mean, they have really cool crystal clear diagrams um, on how to install this, which is really nice. Um, of course, it is a universal kit, so it's not going to be vehicle specific, but I mean, as far as setting up the kit itself, um, it's very clear and you should definitely read this before you install it. Now, this is gonna be great for anybody looking for a water injection kit, whether they have a high performance street car, a race car, or it's just their fun car. They're looking for a little bit extra. It's a great kit. Check it out. It's all the time we've got for you tonight, guys. Thanks for checking out What's in the Box. We'll see you next time. RallySportDirect.com